Hello, my name is Milvad and today we are going to talk about a new method that available in the Laravel 11. Uh, I want to make some videos about the news of the Laravel and also PHP and uh, Livewire and something else. Uh, I think it's uh, very helpful uh, because uh, you you understand uh, understanding the new updates uh, for example for Laravel 11 or something else so let's go to uh, a start so um, no no uh, create a PR that adds a new method that the name of the method is publish uh, publishes my aggressions and uh, it's also for Laravel 11 and uh, you can't use this method for Laravel um, 10 or older so uh, in this PR uh, no no say uh, this uh, method uh, used for publishing the migrations just for migrations not for config for views and something else because when you are published uh, the migrations uh, the migrations have a uh, date for example um, 2015 and 11 and uh, also 01 and also is a time stamp I think so uh, when you are uh, installed the Laravel you can see uh, for example when you are published the migrations uh, the time stamps is uh, from the old date but when you are using this uh, this method publish migrations uh, laravel automatically uh, publish your migration with the new uh, date and time stamp and in this example you can see uh, it's for a penant package uh, you can uh, write laravel penant so and uh, also uh, in, uh, some example here and also uh, merge by Taylor so uh, the first thing we want to say uh, we want to uh, talking about the uh, change it and how uh, can uh, how Laravel can update the timestamp after uh, I show the uh, real example and here you can say you can see Laravel penance uh, it's uh, official documentation and also it's github so uh, let's go so here in the uh, I want to see the test uh, so uh, here is nothing so it's just the indent the asset equals also here indent and also here add uh, some uh, you can see that these publish migrations and uh, it's not very important to know so the first thing is the service provider is very important is the main service provider when you are uh, create a new a service provider in your own project uh, you need to extend this service provider to convert that your uh, service provider uh, to be a, a real service provider so pass uh, so uh, this class is so important uh, here create a new uh, property publishable migration pass uh, in the comments say the migration pass available for publishing uh, it's like uh, this pass so and when you are using publish migrations using the publishes uh, is um, this method it's the old way for for example uh, if you want to for example publish the config file you can use the publish uh, method and also for views and something else and um, also pass a uh, pass is this pass is a, an array and also it's a groups you can uh, it's a, a 
it can be a null or uh, write a strings so and also uh, call the publishable migrations pass here you can see the statics and uh, here you can see array unique and array image with the published migration and keys of the pass keys of the pass is that this uh, directory and database and migration and the value is the uh, that the pass that you want to publish uh, that you want to move your uh, migrations uh, from your package or we can say copy uh, your migration to this pass so and use the array unique to be a unique uh, pass so here in the publishable migration pass return the publishable uh, property and that's this so uh, in the vendor publish migration when you are using php artisan vendor uh, double dot and publish so uh create a new uh, properties publish it at um, that's uh, when uh, start the uh, command line start or the command uh, is automatically uh, get a value from the handle uh, and also you can see the uh, now is uh, get a um, um, Re, uh, you can we can say uh, the that the day or we can say date uh, it's written a carbon uh, carbon class so uh, the first thing is uh, fill the publish it at uh, fill the publish it at property so in the uh, in the option of the existing and check the file is existing and something like that uh, make a new uh, variable is the two and use uh, uh, the ensure migration names is up to date and pass it from and to so uh, let's go down uh, here in the move managed files uh, pass it from let's go see what is a pass uh, what is a uh, from so uh, in the move manage the uh, files you can see um, uh, take a new parameter is a, a string of the from and here you can see user uh, ensure migration name is up to date in the uh, here you can see also use this method so let's go down and see the what is this method here is the ensure ensure migrations name is up to date that is uh, you can see uh, check the uh, migration name is about the date and time stamp so uh, and also use uh, uh, rejects or rejects and use a prig replace and also prig match and that is, is not very hard to understand and use a service provider and publishable migration pass this pub, uh, this uh, value is uh, here you can see is the publishable migration pass property here and uh, here you can see it's from the other service providers uh, for example use the uh, this method publishes migration and uh, move uh, this pass to publishable pro uh, migration pass property and also use it uh, here so it's very really excellent and let's go to uh, see and uh, one of my packages that use migrations here i'm using uh, in the laravel attributes you can make your attributes with the polymorphic uh, relations uh, for laravel so uh, you can uh, we have a, a 
uh, attributes table and also in my service provider I'm using here I'm using the uh, I'm using publishers method in the uh, for example in the Laravel 11 I can change these publishers uh, to uh, publishes migrations and so let's go to make a new uh, project and use a print package I'm use a lot of all pennant so uh, let's go to make a new project so I'm open the same there and make a new uh, test pennant for example it's not matter to what so uh, this deprecator is not very important it's about the symphony and also I'm update my PHP version to uh, from 8.1 to 8.3 because I'm creating new a video about the uh, PHP 8.3 but I don't uh, upload it on my channel yet but uh, I'm uploading uh, soon so uh, in the installation I'm copy this so I'm pause the video and come back again because a little late so um uh, the installation uh, is finished and i'm open the test planet folder i am open uh, test planet folder in my file explorer and in the database migration folder you can see uh, the default migrations of the laravel um is a uh, we don't uh, is no have uh those no not have um, the correct time stamp but in the um, uh, in the new uh, updates in the laravel 11 you can see uh, the um, default migration of the laravel uh, is up to date so uh, let's see uh, when i'm in install let's so let's open the uh, this command so I'm uh, paste here and also here you can see is about the published uh, for example configuration and migration files uh, I am copy this uh, commands and paste here so here you can see uh, we have uh, four migrations and let's go so here uh, you can see a new uh, migration is uh, available for me is the features uh, migration and also you can see uh, it's um, with the uh, this uh, features migration uh, the time stamps is uh, not correct and but in the laravel event uh, you can see it's fixed and work correctly so i show the real example and also i'm showing the pack uh, my package um showing the changes that's in this pr and also say what's this uh what's the benefits of these uh, methods and that is i hope this video is helpful for you and i'm happy to show your comments under my video so um let's go for next video and uh, also upload the php 8.3 crash course so uh, until next video goodbye